Hey guys, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome to Vlogist Day 19. Okay, <laughs> so what have I done today? Well, uh, today is my regular um, Yarn Joy Podcast episode day, and so I, I was working on a few things this morning so then I can show in that video, which will be coming up next after I film this one. <laughs> um, and so, like, I, it's that episode is going to be all about amigurumi. I've got, I, I, I do you, I don't know. Do you call all stuffed things amigurumis? I don't know. But anyway, I've got several things that that are coming up that I'm going to be working on, and I've started a few of them already. So, um, so I, that's mainly what I was doing. Oh, and I started another backpack buddy this morning. Um, yeah. <laughs> and the one I'm going to show you, I just made this one last night, and it's super easy. It's great. Love it. Love this pattern. Um, and so, let's see. What else have I done? Worked on laundry, and uh, I was here. I didn't have to go anywhere all day today. Yay! <laughs> I love it when I don't have to go anywhere, and I can just be in my element here and um, crochet and create. <laughs> um, so... That's basically what I did. <laughs> um, not going to have to cook today because I have leftovers, so that's good. We, I made soup last night. Soup turned out great. I don't know if I'd call it a soup or i call it a... Mine is more like a stew because it's very, very chunky with lots of veggies in it. Um, I was supposed to, like, take some of it out and, and use, like, a hand blender or put it in the blender and blend it all up and then put it back in there so it'll be more brothy, but... I didn't do that. <laughs> it's just my mine is chunky, so it's more like stew. But oh, it was, it's really it's good. <laughs> uh, so we I have more of that. So we're, we'll have that um, for tonight. So um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, and I started my uh, Feel Better Friends doll, my first ass actual assignment. I started a little bit working on that. Uh, I talked to you about, yeah, oh, and yesterday I showed you that I had found some yarn to use. Um, I needed something a little bit lighter than um, Cafe Latte, Red Heart Super Saver. Lighter than that, but darker than Red Heart Super Saver buff, and so I found some at Hobby Lobby. It was this one right here, and this is, um, I love this yarn in light taupe, and yes, it is darker than, it's definitely coarse darker, I mean lighter than Cafe Latte, and it's darker than uh, the buff color, but just barely, just barely. I really wanted it to be a little bit more darker than that. But this is what I got, and I need to go ahead and get it started uh, so I can get it to the little boy. And so I guess that's the one I'm going with. But I do have a requ request. Okay, so for that medium tone, the medium skin tone category or whatever, the one that had been suggested is Red Heart Super Saver in the colorway um, Warm Brown. Okay, and I don't have any, and I was looking to see if I could order it somewhere, and it looks to me like um, it is um, um, discontinued, I guess. Somebody had said it was discontinued, um, and so I haven't been able to find it anywhere. So, if any of you out there, my dear viewers, <laughs> if any of you have Red Heart Super Saver Worsted Weight Yarn in the colorway Warm Brown, uh, contact me if you're willing to uh, send it my way that would be awesome and that way I would have a supply of yarn for that middle skin tone color that would be wonderful um, until I can find you know something different but I really would like to have some of that um, and so if if you be willing to part with it then uh, let me know and I can trade you with some other yarn I've got some quite a bit of cake yarn back there that that I'm never going to use all that. <laughs> and so I can trade with you or I could make a little, you know, something. So when I get my machine back, my sewing machine back, uh, maybe a little, you know, a little bag or something. Um, or like I said, I could do a, a crochet swap with you. Uh, but just let me know uh, and I'll, I'll, we'll talk. <laughs> but I really appreciate it if, if y'all, anybody has that color. Uh, here in you know here in the states, so uh, so that way the shipping would be not bad. <laughs> so anyway, um, let me know. <laughs> my ad, my um, 
email address is down below in the description box it's always there I always it has fine it says find me at and then it says it has my email address listed uh, among other things so um, so yeah thanks <laughs> for considering that okay so let's see let's go ahead and do backpack buddy of the day so backpack buddy of the day is a whale <laughs> and this whale is super easy to make so easy I mean you start with the the top color and you crochet down and then you and then you do the tail right before you're going to change to the lighter color for the underneath you do that tail and I mean it's all stitched in there you don't have to sew that little tiny tail on there the fluke um, it's all one piece and so then you once you've done that round with the with the tail then you change color to the white and you can cut the top the top color because you're done with it uh, and at that point I go ahead and attach my backpack buddy and I would mean the clip <laughs> to the top of the whale and then I go then I ch went ahead and changed to the uh, I use white to the under co belly color and then you start decreasing down and then when I stuffed it I tried to get the stuffing at the top part and I didn't want to overstuff it because I wanted this this white part to be pretty flat you know I wanted the stuffing to be at the top where it's domed and this be flat okay so you have to be careful with that I mean you know just kind of um, form your stuffing up in there but it's no big deal um, the uh, they tell you what round to put the safety eyes I used um, let me think now six yeah six millimeter safety eyes and I just tried to well they told in the the free download the pattern it says what round to put the eyes okay but it didn't say how far apart to put them and so I just tried to even them up with the tail putting the tail in the middle and then I just tried to kind of get them in the same spot on both sides that's about basically how I got them in there anyway it's so cute I've made this whale before um, and like I said it's so quick and easy to do now you see how big this is let me measure it here it's about oh from head you know snout to tail it's about two and a half inches you know this way <laughs> and so um, and this is with worsted weight yarn but it's light worsted weight I think this is Karen simply soft and that now the white might be red heart super saver but um, I know the top part was uh, simply soft I believe and that's a light worsted weight so of course it, it would be it turned out a little bit bigger if you used a heavier worsted weight uh, but I think they're so cute even with even without the uh, backpack buddy clip um, in fact, it was not a keychain. Um, it wasn't a keychain pattern. She didn't have uh, anything attached to it. Um, so this would be cute, just like even in chunky yarn, you know, uh, or even blanket yarn. Wouldn't that be cute? I, be, I think I even I might even have. I know I've got white blanket yarn. I don't know if I have the blue. I think I have a blue. I'm looking up there. I can't see him. I can't see it from here, but I think I've got a light blue. I could make one out of blanket yarn. Wouldn't that be cute? Be cute for the grandbaby, a little whale. That'd be cute. It would be well, a bigger whale. <laughs> I might do that. <laughs> anyway, check the pattern out. It's a great pattern. I really enjoy putting it together super fast. Okay, and and I will link it below in the description box. Um, I, I, I want to say, no. I better not I may say I was gonna say the designer's name but I'm not sure I might get it wrong and I don't want it to get it wrong but anyway uh, it's a free Ravelry download that's I don't know if they have a website uh, I, that's where I found it and went through I tried to I try to see in bu below you know instead of automatically clicking the Ravelry download button I always go through the description on that page to see if I can find their actual a website so I can go directly to their website um, but that one I don't believe had one so anyway so that is my backpack buddy for the day and um, 
that's what I'm doing today. I'm just working on a lot of amigurumis. I've got several of them going on. Okay, so I'm going to go because now, I, like I said, I need to uh, now make my other video. And I'll have to go and gather all my projects together so then I can show them uh, the things that I've finished and the things that I'm working on now. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And then this evening, what am I going to be working on? Well... After dinner, well, I'll have to be editing these two videos and get those posted up. And then after dinner, I'm going to, what am I going to work on? I don't know. I might continue to work on the bee or one of the other things. I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so, everybody have a wonderful Thursday and come back tomorrow and we will do vlogus day 20. <laughs> wow, it's already going to be in the 20, you know, it's not that much longer to the end of the month. It's, you know, we're over halfway. So this month is going by really fast, but I'm enjoying making these videos. Um, so anyway, <laughs> so check, ch check on back, come back and we'll have another visit for, uh, the other video coming out today and then come back tomorrow for vlogus day 20. Okay. Talk to you later, guys. See you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.